list of baby products that I want to talk about. Um, products that I loved using the most. Um, products that I didn't like using that much. And then also products that I didn't think I needed that I actually did need. So, so to start, the first product that I absolutely love using are the Dr. Brown's um, anti-colic bottles. If you see in the picture, they actually have the little blue stick um, that goes inside and that's supposed to help with all the air bubbles and these are really awesome if your baby is very colicky and has a lot of gas and um, Gabriella had a lot of problems when she was first born the first couple months she was born she had um, a lot of gas so anything to help that helped and we used those bottles and they worked really well and there's different sizes there's um, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and then there's actually a sippy cup bottle too for when they start drinking juices and stuff so they're really nice, really awesome um, the second thing I absolutely loved was called the in what is it, ingenuity swing the one I have swings back and forth and then swings front to back um, there's a light for little stars and then there's a mirror and there's a turning mobile and Gabby loves it. She's actually getting to the point now where she's kicks her feet so she'll slide out but so there is straps also that you can strap in, strap your baby in. The next product that I absolutely loved using is um, butt paste. Um, it works better than the desitin, the blue and purple desitin. Um, actually smells better than regular cream too. It, it kind of smells like vanilla, but it's it's awesome, and it works so good. I noticed that within like, you change her once, put the butt paste on, and then go back an hour or half hour and uh, change her again, and her butt is not red. It works so quick and so well that um, I just love it so much. Um, the next thing that I absolutely loved was the swaddles that don't have arms. So in this picture you'll see um, they're armless swaddles. Gabby loves sleeping with her arms up. I don't know why, but she loves sleeping with her arms up and she always hated being swaddled. So these swaddles just zip right up and they keep her all warm but keep her arms up and then I just put mittens on her and they're awesome. I love them. The next uh, product that I love are the sleepers that have the zipper. The zipper starts up here and actually zips down to their foot instead of starting at their foot and zipping up here. Um, I just like those because they keep the zipper away from their necks um, so they don't get scratched. So those are awesome too. The next thing is obvious, mittens and slippers. Um, I didn't realize how important mittens were right after they're born because yes, their nails are um, sharp, but they're sharper than you'd think. I don't know. I just didn't really realize that they were so important. So um, we didn't have any when Gabby was born, so we went and bought some and we still use them even now just to her hands get cold. Um, we still use them and then slippers are always nice to have just in case your feet get cold and it's winter so um, The next isn't really a product, but it's something I use to help soothe her um, Or to help put her to sleep There are um, a bunch of them on YouTube, but they're white noise videos and some of them are an hour two hours three hours long and They just play white noise the whole entire time and you just put them on and Gabby falls right right asleep they're awesome. The next thing I absolutely love, it is like the secret to baby language, I swear to God. Baby Einstein Music Festival on YouTube. It is half hour long. Gabby loves it. She is locked onto it when the TV's playing. Like there is nothing that will calm her down more than Baby Einstein Music Festival on YouTube. So if you ever need your baby to stop crying or you know, she's changed, she's fed, and she's just cranky. Put that on, put her in her swing, and she will she'll watch it. And sometimes she even falls asleep after, or while she's watching it. So, best thing ever. The next thing I absolutely love, especially for summertime, are the muslin blankets. 
They're like the super light, almost sheer blankets. Um, they're not too thick and heavy like the furry ones. Um, but they're really good for um, putting in her car seat um, and also for summertime because it's not too heavy. I love those. The next is obvious. It's a bottle brush cleaner. Um, I actually have two of them. My pink one is what I use for my own cups, um, like my mason jar cups. And then the other one, the gray and white one that I have is for her bottles. I separate them and only use one for her bottles because I don't want to mix you know, the food and the drinks that I use with mine with, into her bottles. So I, um, I have one for my own stuff and her own stuff. So, um, uh, the next thing that I loved when I was breastfeeding, which I wish I still was, but it's okay. Haka. It's called a Haka. It's called a Haka. It's a manual breast pump. Um, and what I did was I would be feeding Gabby on one side and I would suction the haka, as you see in the picture. I suction the haka to my other breast and while I'm feeding over here, the, the um, what is it called, like overflow of my breast milk from this side would just drip into it and I would get about four ounces every time I did. So that's about a bottle, um, depending on how much your baby eats, but it's about every single time I would get about four ounces and um, then I would switch her to this side and same thing over here and I wouldn't get as much because she was just feeding from the side but I still was getting some um, so those are like extra bags of milk that instead of just letting your milk trickle down it's being kept into you know a container and then you put it in the fridge or you can put them in um, bags like breast bags it was so awesome I love doing that and it actually suctions on so it so you don't have to just hold up your normal breast pump. You can just suction it and it just will hold, like it'll just stay there. It's pretty cool. The next product that I loved are booby boons. In the picture, you'll see them. And they're lactation cookies and they're so good. There's so, so many different flavors. Amazon has them. Um, I actually got them from a friend and I love them and they actually work. When I was breastfeeding like a week after Gabby was born, I swear to God I was eating those cookies and milk was just spraying across the room. Like they were so good. Um, and they actually do work. And you can make homemade lactation cookies too if you don't want to buy any, but they're super good. So my camera died, but we're back. Um, so one of the next things I bought was a pack of extra large white t-shirts from Walmart. They're awesome for just having a baby. You can throw them on. Um, you know, your baby spits up everywhere. You get gripe water all over it. Whatever. They're just trash t-shirts just for, you know, after birth. And also the granny panties that are high-waisted um, if you've had a c-section or if you haven't. Um, you just throw them on and they're comfortable and because you know you get that after birth period so that kind of sucks but they're legit granny panties and they help with that so they're awesome both I got from Walmart you can get them anywhere uh, the next thing that I loved when I was especially breastfeeding um, is the baby plus app and you'll see in the picture that's what the app looks like it has a little picture of the baby on it it tracks feedings, um, what side and how long you feed for. When the last change was, if you track it, you can track pee diapers and poop diapers. Um, it actually has a yearbook that you can make within the app and it just makes a whole yearbook for you. Um, there's When your baby gets older, there's a teeth tracker and a teeth counter so you can put which tooth your baby has just lost and you can track them. Awesome. I still use it to this day. Um, it's so, just so cool. The next thing I just started using recently, um, especially since it's winter time and because Gabby does get belly aches sometimes here and there, um, are rice socks. They are awesome for throwing the microwave, heating up for 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how big your sock is, and then just laying it on their belly 
um, while they sleep. It sometimes helps put them to sleep and it'll help with belly aches. So I would definitely, definitely recommend rice socks. The next thing that I use if um, Gabby has a belly ache or she has gas is Mylocon. buy this at any drugstore, any store really. Um, just gas drops. They do help with her belly, belly aches. Um, one of the last things that I loved using when Gabby, even now, um, I loved using the bedside bassinet. She sleeps in it all night now and I just have it right next to us when we sleep and it's amazing. It's breathable around the whole side. There's pockets if you want to change her in it. It's just worked really well and it slides right under your bed so you, it can be as close to you as you need it to be. It's really awesome. Some of the products that I did not like were the regular swaddles. Gabby hates her arms being down when she sleeps. So having the swaddles wrapped around her with her arms down did not work. So that's um, another thing I don't like were the button sleepers. I still use them, but they're just less convenient than a zipper sleeper. The zipper sleepers are just way easier. Yeah. Bobby pillows I thought I was going to love, and um, I do more now than I did when she was first born. I just didn't use them as much when I when she was first born. Um, when I fed her, when I breastfed her, I would just sit in her rocking chair and it had armrests, so I kind of just used that. Um, if I was in bed, I just held her. I don't know. I just feel like the boppy got more in the way than it was of good use, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, and another thing I absolutely did not like were probiotics. Um, they say that these actually are supposed to help your baby if they have colic or if they have um, get bad gas. So I tried these on Gabby twice. The first time, it didn't work, but I was still doing breast milk at the time and I was still trying regular formula. I was kind of feeling, feeling it out to see how it was. Um, so then I stopped them as well as the breast milk and regular formula because I wasn't sure if the probiotics were actually working or if it was not, I don't know. So I stopped probably a week or two ago. I started using them again and they just did not work for her. They actually made her stomach and her gas worse, um, which it's known to do that. Some of the side effects can be gas and belly aches, and um, there's other side effects, I don't know, but, and that's exactly what happened. I'm not saying that they aren't good for babies, because they may be, but just for Gabby, they didn't work, so I didn't really like them that much. Um, there wasn't really a lot of products that I did not like, just those few um, and I'm still experimenting with products obviously but those are the ones that I could think of so my camera died again but those were the products that I really liked and some of the products that I did not really like um, if you have any questions you can comment if not don't comment that's okay and I hope that um, this video helped you and I hope you get some of the products that I really liked because they're awesome. I love her. I love being a mom.